Welcome back, Collective. I am back with your next message. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for being so holy. Thank you for allowing us to co-create with you, to work alongside you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always leading us and guiding us. Thank you for imparting wisdom in us, for even giving us a double portion in the areas where you've promised us. Thank you, Father, that your word has always been fulfilled. It never comes back to you void, Father, but it prospers in the thing in which you send it. We ask that you would speak again to our situation, pour out your spirit, bless us, God, bless us in our hearts and our minds to see and to behave according to your word and your righteousness. We bind and rebuke all forms of wickedness and evil, any form of deceit or treachery trying to infiltrate or come into our lives to bring in the wrong outcomes, Lord. We bind and rebuke those things now in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke all forms of evil and wicked from our lives. Thank you, Lord God, that we are yours and you alone do we serve, Jesus. I pray that you pour out your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Hi, Collective. So, um, you have someone here. This person is like, you're being seen um, as being very, very balanced. You're being seen as someone that is very dignified and secure. It's like you being who you are in um, your work, your life, your family, um, whatever position you're in that carries a certain level of authority, um, and you're very much in control. Somebody feels like because you're held to a standard, because you're either a spiritual leader or you're definitely someone of influence, like the role that you play in many aspects, um, in many lives is very traditional, it's very influential, and it's very much divinely guided. Someone sees you as like the one that they want to work with. Either they want to marry you, they want to partner with you, they want to be on some type of team with you. There's something here. It's like, this person knows that by being connected to you, they will fully level up and, you know, step into um this you know very dignified and powerful kind of boss role of their own this is somebody that's really ready to you know step up to the plate and be something so much greater than they've ever been before this is someone you know knowing their max potential and feeling that by collaborating with you or by marrying you, by being in some type of traditional commitment, um, something long lasting, this would really guarantee that, you know, really solidify that for them. This is someone that's willing to really stand, um, like this is someone that wants to provide for you. This is someone that wants to protect you. This is someone that wants to be in some type of balanced relationship with you. They feel like, you know, connecting with you, there's not going to be a lot of guesswork. Like when they, what they feel, what they know, the outcomes that they know that they're going to get are very much positive. This person feels like, you know, being in some type of, um, traditional commitment or a union, um, like a long-term relationship or something would be like a wish, their wishes coming true. This person could want to propose to you. They may want to ask you, um, or make an offer for you to work together or something for a mutual goal. This could also be um, someone that sees you stepping into a very empowered role or a very empowered season in your life. And, um, you know, like this could be your leadership, this could be ministry, this could be your profession, this could be your marriage, this could be whatever it is. Someone really wants to kind of like work belong work alongside you. 
or they want to be long in this type of commitment with you, they want to build success. They're acknowledging your talent. They're in, you know, like they're recognizing the the benefits of collaborating and partnering with you. And this is someone that feels like they trusted their actions previously by being naive, you know, like they took this leap of faith to walk away and leave you out in the cold, experiencing some type of temporary setback. You could have experienced some form of lack for a time or loss. But, you know, this person, you know, they see that you looked at the situation like, okay, you trusted whatever you needed to go into. You were very optimistic. If this situation um, where there was some diverging, if this person went one way and you had to go another, if the outcome of this was causing you some form of setback or some form of um, hardship, you know, you had to go through something hard here with this five of pentacles. This person, you know, feels like what could have really looked as an intentive for you where you were just not really paying attention or just being way too carefree or something. It actually turned out to be something very much praiseworthy for you. You're going to be the one celebrating. You're going to be the one experiencing, you know, better days. You're going to be having all of this, you know, happy times and partying and fun gatherings and stuff. And this is really taking someone back because they thought that walking away from you and, you know, the space that they put you in was going to cause a lot, a lot more, um, lack it would cause a lot more to be destitute in your life. They did this so that they could go celebrate with third parties. They did this so that they could have more options. You know, this could have even been for comrades. This could have been a situation for, you know, they did this and left you out in the cold to experience some type of hardship or temporary setback or to make you feel like you're a dangerous person or you're in a dangerous situation and the world is against you. This really even could have been for someone just coming together for a season because they had something, some mutual, whatever in common. This may not have even been, you know, for relationships in some cases, some cases it was, it was for, you know, someone's temporary pleasures to go from relationship to relationship, to be the, the social, uh, the social light, you know, in the nightlife, really enjoying themselves, um, this could also be someone went and they went and got back together with someone that they were with previously. They had a reunion or something and it ended up just leaving you in a bad space. But regardless of how it goes, you know, somebody is sitting here and they're thinking, wow, divine intervention is really a thing because where they wanted to leave you kind of in a space of adversity or where they thought they left you in adversity because they chose uh, elsewhere, socializing, co you know, common cause, whatever, or just straight up cheating and wanting to be with this person or that person. It was supposed to be something catastrophic for you, but now they're seeing that when you took the situation and you just kind of stepped into this as a new adventure where, you know, like you saw this as a great opportunity. This was, this had a lot of potential for you for change, to be optimistic, for you to step into something brand new, to take action in something. And now this person feels very much left out in the cold. They feel very much like love doesn't live here anymore. Like you don't love them anymore because of their actions to just so like carelessly turn their nose up in the air and leave you behind so that they can go and cheat and really turn back around. You're going to be the last one standing and partying and celebrating all of your accomplishments and all of the things that, you know, like you really put out the right energy and you're getting that back. And now this is a chaotic scene for somebody else. This is like really putting them in a mental space where, you know, th this is like their pride got knocked down. You know, this is like that game over kind of energy in the world. This is closed out. 
this is like, you know, you really put an end to things being done in secret, things being done behind your back. If there was a lot, Shiloh. Hang on, let me fix this. She didn't pull the light out that time, but. <laughs> so it's like you closed out that cycle. Yeah, this was that definitely like that game over kind of energy because, you know, things being done and you're behind your back or someone moving in secret and not being very clear with you. It's like you ended up closing out a cycle without any form of clarity. Someone, you know, wanting to leave you for third parties or to go cheating or to go, you know, having threesomes or being in a relationship with three different people and, you know, so that they could leave you out in the cold or whatever it is, this person, um, you're highly intuitive, first of all, and you knew that things were not exactly what were being, you know, things are not always what they seem. And instead of you going through the cycle over and over again, or feeling like you needed something other than your own decision to close this and move to the next level, that's what you did. It's like you had to close out a cycle without any form of clarity. intuitively you knew that there was a lot of things like a lot of the deceits this could have been somebody could have gone married behind your back um or someone could have been in a committed relationship that could have done something or they felt that they were being held to some type of um group thinking or something like that but whatever it was, you let it go. You move towards peace. And it's like, now that you move towards peace, the second you move, yeah, the second you move towards peace is when this person realized they have all this romance for you and they are romanticizing the connection. They want this partnership. They want something mutually attracting back. They want you to see them as the love of your life or your twin flame or the person that you want to marry, or you want to be in some type of long-term connection or like that you have all this passion for, because this person wants you to be peaceful with them. They want you to love them. This is somebody that feels like they need your love. They need your concern. They need your healing power and all of your family values. They want you to nurture them. They want you to be emotionally invested. They don't want you to pull your energy away. They don't want you to hide and retreat from them. They want you to really, you know, like feel the need to mother this or to love and to nurture this connection again. Because this person feels like you're their, their happiness. You're their total happiness. You know, like they love you. They want you to spread some type of positive news. There's something that they want you to be able to say, or they want you to really have this, this, um, positive outlook about this connection. They want you to have this certain level of assurity that there's better days ahead and that there's a new truth. There's good energy now that, that you can see something. And what you see is that there's so much greatness coming, like good health, happy moments, you know, high vibration, just passing the positive energy along. This person also wants you to intuitively um, oversee something. It's like, if you're very, intu you're very intuitive. And I mean, we already know that you're highly aware. There's things that like you see, you intuitively feel things, you get confirmations, but most importantly, you're very emotionally stable and you're very protective. It's like you carry this matriarch energy or if you're a masculine, it's, you know, it's patriarch energy, but you do come from an intuitive, you know, viewpoint. Um, they want you to intuitively speak 
blessings. They want you to, to intuitively watch over and oversee, you know, something that can really nurture happiness. This could be this new beginning. They want, it's like, they want you to be excited about this. They want you What? What is this? Okay, so as I'm speaking, right? And then I look down and I'm literally just reading this as I see it. I didn't really go over much of it before I started recording. So <laughs> the lovers, the queen of cups, the sun, and then the seven of swords and the king of pentacles. That's why they want you to be happy. They want you to get excited over this because they want to steal your money. They want your money. If there's something here, it's like, if they're not trying to directly steal your money, they want to try and steal some ideas or they want to steal some form of um, financial influence. They want to do something in regards, like they want to be able to benefit off of some type of success. Wow. Yeah, this could be somebody wanting to steal something from you. They want to steal your stability. They want to steal your ideas. All of the things that you have laid up and you've built up for yourself, all of these things that you've been working on, you know, like this person just kind of wants to tiptoe in and like, have you build success for them? Like they want you to do something for them. They want you to, <laughs> right? When I split the deck, delusional, unrealistic and replenish, it's like this person could have stolen money from you literally like this could be someone like past present or future you know take it how it fits babylon has fallen okay so if they did steal money from you and they took something from you in the past that was the worst thing they could have ever done not only was it delusional and unrealistic for them to ever replace you or to think that you would be able to replenish the money that they taken from you and I don't care how much money it was. It could have been $25,000. It could have been $50,000. It could have been $500. It could have been $12, whatever it was. It was silly for them to think that you would not be able to replenish it. And it was very foolish for them to think that they would be able to replace you. So it's like they did something and now they're seeing like, dang it, there is no equal to you. They still want to try and come back. Like they, they lost everything when they, when they betrayed you, when they did this, if this is future energy, this will be the worst thing they ever do. And their whole entire life would be to try and come into your life and to try and funnel some of your wealth into something sneaky for them or to use your stability, your influence to move people, places and things or your the way that you know how to invest, the way that you do certain things. This would be the silliest thing that this person ever did in their entire life would be to try and take some type of financial attachment or some type of wealth or gain that you have worked hard, you built for yourself. You see what I'm saying? This is not something that somebody else came in and did. You didn't take this from someone. You didn't go and steal any of your wealth. Everything that you have, you earned it. You get to spend your money. You know why? Because you earned it. You get to wear all of your fancy stuff. You get to do whatever you want. As long as you honor God, you get to do whatever you want with your money. You give to other people cheerfully. Nobody needs to be trying to steal anything from you. But somebody wants you to be all hyped up and, and childlike about something with them because they want to butter you up so they could take something from you. And it's like, I have the two of wands and then I have inner voice, mother and rigid. Something is on the inside of this person's mind telling them that they're going to break in half. This will, this is the thing that will break them. If they try to come messing with you and your money, this is the one thing. And they hear it. They hear it loud and clear. They're going to break like a piece of crispy, something dry and brittle, <laughs> you know, like a crispy piece of hay. 
they're going to break. This right here, they they need to not play with you. Because this person feels like you have some type of financial flexibility, like you have um, space, or it's like you, you know, you've adapted to a certain extent. But regardless of what it is, you've cultivated these things. You have sought to find a safe space to build so that you can, you can peacefully evolve and grow. You get what I'm saying? This, this King of Pentacles here, this is because of your determination, the love that you have for yourself and for other people, not just for the things that you do. This is why you're this rich guy or this rich girl. Somebody better stop playing with you. And I have Potiphar's wife. Yeah, this could be somebody that tried to lie on you, say that you try to do something to them or you wanted them or something. Don't nobody want them. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whatever. You know, you could have even suffered consequences for something this person lied and said <laughs> on you. <laughs> this person could have lied and said something like you wanted them for their money or you wanted something from them. Lies, all lies. The heck? Jacob and Esau. Yeah, somebody sees that it's like you don't miss opportunities. The way that you know how to jump straight into an opportunity, even if it looks crazy, it doesn't matter what it looks like to other people. You know what it is that you're doing and they don't like that. They wish that they could do that. Yeah, and the five of swords. Somebody feels like they don't want something to end they'll it'll end when they say so or something what so this person could be coming in to try and like be in some type of commitment with you or marriage or something but there's some type of dishonesty here i don't like that thank you holy spirit Will you please um tell me more thank you so it's like you've overcome a lot. You've gone into a calmer space and whatever you've had going on previously with this person, place, thing, this could even could be an institution. This could be, um, you know, group or something conforming or whatever as well. Um, but, you know, like things are, you're in a calmer space, you're at peace and you've let this go. It's like you're you're looking at this like this is no longer worth fighting for. And because you are this person's happy ever after or this group or something, <laughs> you're very, they're very, like this person's very heartbroken because your new truth, it's like it's not what they want. This person is seeing now that you're very happy. They're seeing like how you were hurt from a one the one-sided relationship. Hmm. Um This person wants to partner with you because, like I said, your loving kindness, your emotional intuition, your concern and your need to, you know, give love and con show concern or whatever to other people. Like this need for mothering and just being very peaceful and calm. This is why this person wants to marry you. They feel like you have all of these shared values. They knew this when they took this leap of faith to walk away from you. They knew that, you know, they had this unconditional love and connection with you. And they wanted this type of, you know, commitment. Um, this person left you out in the cold because of pride. They wanted to just be prideful. There was something that you have or you know that you're doing or something and this person just had this 
I don't know. They could they could um, overthrow you or do it better or something. I don't know. Or maybe there was a decision that you made that this person didn't like. And that's just kind of what made them just be in this prideful energy in regards to you. Yeah. It's like you started collaborating and creating with the divine. And then I have David and Jonathan. So this is somebody that you, um, you know, when you celebrated with this person, this person was very close to you. This is somebody that, you know, like this is somebody that would really love you like a sibling or like they love themselves almost. Or this is how they felt when you were, when you're around them. like very love or very loving and close it's your wisdom that's knocking this person out hmm. this is clarifying the tower this person had no idea 2626 they had no idea just how intelligent you are just how much you know how how much you've experienced in life what you do with your knowledge and how you've transferred all of this into wisdom. They had no idea you were this intelligent. That is hilarious. But this supposed to be a David to Jonathan and a Jonathan to David. Huh? Yeah, right. That's why Absalom is there. I mean, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm just going to be real. Somebody feels like they love you like that. Nah, man. Because they would know you better than that. Your wisdom would not shock them. I would like to think the people that know me, that really know me, oh, they know there are so many sides to me. And I am highly intelligent. Like, what are you talking about? Despite what it looked like or what I give you at the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm saying that. It's like, they must not have known you. If they haven't learned you by now, they're going to never learn. <laughs> okay? Okay? Like, I can't even make excuses. Isaiah at the bottom, like, somebody is really just being, God is correcting them for being ungrateful. Not even ungrateful, but a little bit ungrateful. And not acknowledging what they had. What God had already given them right there. And they rejected it until God came back and said something about it. It's like, all the while, no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. You know? They feel very nostalgic. That's wearing me out, though. The wisdom. Like, why is that? Somebody, your wisdom is doing this to people. Your intelligence is doing this to people. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can snooze if you want to, but not on me, baby. <laughs> That's their fault. Like, they slept on you. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to stay asleep, and you were woke. Like, and now they're seeing, like, okay, whatever. Spiritual awakening stuck the end. It's like now that they see not only are you in this energy, but you're going to continue to stay in this energy. This is your flow. Okay. This is how you flow. And the cycle <clears throat> of experiencing whatever you were experiencing before in this, in this situation, um, in this connection, this could be an organization, this could be a team, a group or whatever. Um, this could be your connections, um, or this is somebody wanting to come back and, like I said, offer you some type of long-term commitment or marriage or whatever, because they, you make them happy. Regardless, the past is now the past because your spiritual awakening has really, you know, like you've awakened others. You being awake has now triggered a mass awakening 
and now people are really seeing it for what it is and it just be like that sometimes your wisdom is like knocking people off their feet <clears throat> your intelligence your knowledge you know god's hand is on you that's a gift wisdom and whatever they were trying to do or whatever they wanted to think or making you stuck or stopping your progress or not wanting to do this or that or you know whatever delays they thought you were experiencing or whatever they wanted for you yeah no the end bro the end sis 30 30 done okay and you know like you keep a lot of things secret there's a lot that you know but you don't necessarily always take action. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know. You don't um <clears throat> always take action on the things that you know. And now somebody is really seeing that you are very passionate and you're very confident about the things that you do, regardless if they missed this previously, if they wanted to ignore this before, they're seeing you now as having really stepped up to be your own hero. You are the leading person. You are the protagonist of your story. And no one else is going to come in and be the antagonist of your story without you as the protagonist really being and becoming the hero in that. And this is what they're seeing, that you are a leader. You might be pushy at times, or they may have perceived you as pushy, but regardless, you're assertive and you take action. And this is why you're able to inspire other people to do better, to be better. You've learned through direct experience and now you're better. You're doing better. Like, yeah. And you look very good doing it. And it's like, you had to go, like you moved into a calmer space in regards to whatever this connection is right here because of how this person was just taking action based on their passions. They wanted to do this or that, just be in and out. Like they, they were hot and cold. <clears throat> and it was supposed to be some type of balanced connection. And it's like, you saw the truth, whatever it was, it's like, you knew that you had to move into a calmer space because you just had to make that executive decision. Once you found out the full truth, you had like, this is from you being going within and seeking and you came out with the facts and the facts are somebody is after you. You know, whatever love connection that you thought that you were in, it's like you intuitively, even though you still came at it from a loving way, you're looking at this like, okay, you still have to be fair. You still have to be balanced on both sides. This is unbiased fairness. You love this person or they love you. However, this Samson and Delilah energy is here. And this is someone that was really just trying to seek out your gifts, figure out how you work, or they just really wanted to defeat you because you're gifted, you know, as many times as they would want to do that, like just wanting to defeat you. And this is like why, you know, it's like you could be someone's happiness. Somebody wants you to be excited about something or they want you to, you know, really oversee something and do this or do that. But it's like, you know, that somebody is plotting behind your back. They're moving in silence. It's like someone has been moving in silence. They're still moving in silence. I have the seven of swords here twice. And it's like in regards to someone wanting you to do something to build something for them or to um, increase something for them or they want to steal your finances or they want to steal your ideas. They want to steal, you know, like this is somebody wanting to steal your stability. This is like, you know, when you when you like if you had to go 
the relationship diverged or whatever because somebody was after you, after your gifts to try and steal it. And it's like now somebody wants you to come back and be a blessing to them and be excited about it or be happy about it. But it's like, you know, that they're still after stealing something or some type of petty crime or moving in silence to oppress you in some way. There's some level of oppression here. There's some level of like, you're going to, you know, do some, like they want you to do something for them and make them great. They don't want to let you go because of how valuable you are and what you're worth, what you, you know, what you do, how it affects them positively or something. Success, hunger, and caution is like this person feels like they're obsessing over why they were um, toxic to you or why they wanted to be some type of tormentor or something because your success, your hunger and thirst after righteousness is like the fact that you're so successful is because of your hunger and thirst after righteousness. This is what makes this person afraid. They know that for you, money and wealth comes from the most high God. And if they mess with your money or your wealth, or they try to come for you in that way, they better be very careful. They better be very, very careful. And they're warned, you know, to stop trying to be in some type of toxic, um, um, trying to put you in some type of unhealthy attachment or trying to do something here. And this dark devil energy because you're, you're like this Daniel. God is, you are gifted. You are blessed and highly favored. It's like the Lord will give you the, the dream and the prophecy. He gives you the start and the finish because that's who he is. He's the alpha and the omega. He knows the, be, the ending of a thing in the very beginning. And this is what he does for his prophets, his prophetess, he will give you the entire story from start to finish so that you can go present that to the king so that you can make way for healing and deliverance in an entire land amongst an entire people. You know, like, no, your success, your hunger, your thirst for righteousness, your ability to achieve the goals that you set out. Somebody better be very careful. They better walk and tread lightly dealing with you. And I mean that. Somebody feels like you're supposed to be in their life forever or they're supposed to be some type of like, you know, I don't know, but I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I got to take my son to the dentist. Okay. I love you. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.